You're watching college football on ESPN, presented by PlayStation View from Norman, Oklahoma. The fourth ranked Sooners, with everything in front of them playoff hopes, potential Heisman Trophy, and West Virginia. Baker Mayfield will not start. Although it didn't keep him from hyping up the crowd and keeping himself excited and focused, and he will be the storyline certainly early on here this afternoon. Got the word last week that Baker Mayfield will not start the game. No one seems to know when he will start except for Lincoln Riley. Steve Levy along with Brian Greasy. Todd McShay is at field level on a spectacular Saturday afternoon here in Oklahoma. Marcellius Sutton and Rodney Anderson are back to receive, and Evan Staley will kick it away for West Virginia. Mountaineers come off a 28-14 loss to Texas. A week ago, Oklahoma took care of Kansas to the tune of 41-3. And it's run out by Marcellius Sutton, and he's out to the 31-yard line. So as Mayfield watches, Kyler Murray is the starting quarterback today for the Sooners. And on first down, Murray's going to keep it, and he can run! He can run across midfield! He can run down the sideline! Kyler Murray to be knocked out of bounds at the four by Elijah Battle. How's that for the first snap and his first start? Here's first and goal now. On the ground, Rodney Anderson. And he's on his feet into the end zone for a touchdown. How do you like me now? 49 seconds in. Oklahoma scores the touchdown. A huge smile from Baker Mayfield as he Gives Kyler Murray a hug there, but Lincoln Riley, think about him. He had to make this decision. This is a Heisman front runner at home his last game, and he sat him down for disciplinary reasons. And Kyler Murray goes out there in two plays. They're in the end zone. Austin Sutter on for the extra point. What a story, Kyler Murray. A couple of years ago, he got three starts at AM, but what a start here today. The thing that he brings that Baker Mayfield doesn't quite have is the speed element. We were talking with Lincoln Riley yesterday. He says if he gets in the second level, nobody's got to catch him. Almost didn't catch him here, but that's the element in the run game, the zone read, the option game. That's what he brings, and uh, Baker Mayfield, you know what's going through him, his mind on the sideline, and how much this is hurting him, and that just takes kind of all that anxiety away. And Rodney Anderson finishes the drive. I didn't bother to ask why. <laughs> Here's Marcus Sims trying to get the ball to the wide receiver's hands. This is a beautiful looking drive to this point. Here's Chuganoff trying to set up the screen, able to get it to Wellman. And he's stopped by Amani Bledso. Back to the line of scrimmage, third down. And now it's the Baker Mayfield show. And I'm Kyler Murray. I'm saying, hey, what about me, coach? <laughs> I thought I did pretty well in there. Did you want a faster scoring drive in 49 seconds? And on first down, handoff. Rodney Anderson right up the middle, making some cuts. Anderson is knocked down just shy of the 15 by Mike Daniels. Very similar to the opening drive for the Sooners. Take a look at this move that Rodney Anderson puts on the secondary. That right there, not known for his quick feet, more of a big downhill running back, but he was passed up earlier in the year. Trey Sermon, Abdul Adams both took reps away from Rodney Anderson and got a little help from his quarterback. I think he's not excited to be back on the field. 
58 yard run by Rodney Anderson. Kyler Murray, the quarterback who started, ran for 66 on the first offensive snap. And on the first throw of the game by Baker Mayfield, he completes to CeeDee Lamb. Crowd is chanting Baker's name. They want a touchdown pass. Here's second and goal. Here's the opportunity to throw and is juggled and caught. C.D. Lamb, touchdown. While Baker Mayfield's consecutive start streak came to an end at 37, he has now thrown a touchdown pass in 38 consecutive games. Here's Seibert on for the extra point. On the way, and it's perfect. Quick strike, Oklahoma offense on display. 14-3, Sooners. Talk about the pressure this Oklahoma offense puts on defenses. When you're able to run the ball with Anderson in the middle of the field, it puts pressure in the secondary. And that time, it was Drayvon Henry. Here's Drayvon right here, and it's long right here. They have to respect this action. And when that action goes and they come up, there's nobody left behind it. That's too big of a window right there for Baker Mayfield to throw that football into. You can't be right when this offense is really humming. Minute 47, 75 yards, some four plays. Baker Mayfield is back in business. Oh, time. He just came off the field. Second and nine, that ball is out. Crawford fumbled the football, and I think Oklahoma has it. Okoronkwo was the first into the pile. Ezebobo came out with it. And he's got the football. Bedette in motion. And it's Rodney Anderson trying to break through. And he was just tipped up at the line of scrimmage. I think Baker Mayfield and he have a great relationship. And you can tell they love working with each other. He's Mayfield to throw down the middle of the field. Got a man wide open, Marquise Brown. Again, the quick strike offense. Now, that was my quarterback. He'd be my best friend, too. We'd get, we'd get along great. <laughs> and the quarterback's best friend is speed on the outside, and that's the definition of Marquise Brown. You can see, if you don't get a chance. Brown averaging 19 yards per catch. That was good for 56. Here's Anderson inside the 20-yard line. And that will be the end of the first quarter. We got Dimitri Flowers in there, the fullback, and the tight end as well. Since Smallwood in motion, hand it off. And it is Flowers has the first down yardage. Benton got him, but not soon enough. With the four plus rush here, touchdown, four plus receiving touchdowns. And here's Anderson for the corner. Got it, touchdown. Oklahoma making it look easy. Their third score of the afternoon. This is the number one play for Oklahoma. It's the counter play. Watch Bobby Evans come through the line of scrimmage and gets the block here. They pull both the guard and the tackle. He just gets enough of David Long. And when you give Rodney Anderson that amount of room at 218 pounds, he's going to find the end zone. But if you're going to stop that counter play, you've got to get penetration into the backfield. And West Virginia's defensive line has not been able to do it so far in this game. You love Bobby Evans. Orlando Brown gets all that love. But Evans is a star on that offensive line as well. The half playing the critical role. Mayfield to throw off the play action. Wide open is Mark Andrews. He rumbles down inside the 20 yard line. Andrews first catch of the day. It's good for 25. If I were playing Baker Mayfield, I wouldn't talk to him at all. You don't want to poke the bear. Leave Malone. Here's first and 20 after the marker. Mayfield will throw it. He'll zip it in there again for Andrews. To flush Baker Mayfield to the opposite direction, left. Felt like he wasn't in center. Here's Sermon, 50 move. And he's dropped at the 10 yard line. I think he'll be short of the first down. 
Mayfield on the ground to Rodney Anderson. He's got the first down and he wants some more. And second down. Anderson spins off one tackle. Gets out to the 10, gets into the end zone. Touchdown, Oklahoma. Placing the injured Will Greer. Chug it off. Great protection. And he'll check it down to Trevon Wesco. Caleb Kelly makes the stop. Trevon Wesco on the grab. It's all West Virginia when it comes to time of possession. It's never mattered less off the play fake. Mayfield throwing down the middle. What a grab by Lamb. Spin a ram up. And he's down. Knocked out at the two-yard line, but there are two flags back behind the play. There are two flags, and it's infectious yeah. as teammates pick up on the play. Here's second down and goal. Again, it's Anderson, and he gets there. Touchdown. Rodney Anderson finds the end zone again. His fourth touchdown of the game. There's only so much chirping you can do, and so many late hits you can have. But once you get down by 24 points in the first half of the game, it all falls flat. And Oklahoma has taken over control of the physicality of this game, the execution of this game, and they're winning with class right now. Five possessions, five touchdowns by the Sooners. He's playing like a first-round quarterback, and I know the intangibles everyone's going to look at, but he has an awesome football character. That's a big map, big move from the third round to a first-round pick. It's Trey Sermon is the ball carrier, and Todd, you still have him fourth quarterback coming off the board? I feel like he's one of the more accurate quarterbacks in all of college football. You can't overcome that if you don't have it. Leads the nation in completion percentage. And he'll add to that right there. Dimitri Flowers across midfield. And his accuracy, he's been perfect today. Yes. <laughs> nobody, nobody has done it more efficiently than Baker Mayfield. That's saying something. Little shuttle to Jeff Bedette, the wide receiver. So you're not hung up on the height like a lot of people are. No. Nope. I agree. Off the free throw. They want some more. Mayfield's going to get tripped up and then stay on his feet and slide down. And a couple of white jerseys will fall on top of him for good measure. He had a flea flicker and wasn't open downfield, and it's a great job, and great awareness from Baker Mayfield of not forcing the football. Here it comes back. Normally, they only have one receiver out. You see the safety running out of there, so just got to make something out of nothing. It's a five yard run on first down and 10. Mayfield a throw. And zips it in there to Mark Andrews. And things were clicking for West Virginia at that point. Since then, they've been able to add a couple scores. Here's Mayfield. All sorts of time directing traffic. Now uh, he'll gun it out for Marquise Brown. He'll get out of bounds. You can still talk, right? You just can't have the action. Here's Mayfield. Zips one in there to Andrews for the touchdown. And I'm not sure that will add to the talking or quiet the Mountaineers. Second touchdown pass for Baker Mayfield, who's having himself a party in his final home game as a senior Sooner. 41-10, Oklahoma. Wow. Maybe that needs to be Baker Mayfield's new celebration after a touchdown. Get away from everybody on the field, run over to your sideline, and then do some kind of celebration. I think it'll be interesting. We started talking about, you know, when is he going to come into the game? I think in the second half, it'll be interesting to see when Lincoln Riley pulls him from the game, especially in a chippy affair. Yep. He's put up some gaudy numbers to this point. Yeah, lost in all that is what a great throw this was. You got to throw it right behind the linebacker, David Long. We saw this earlier in the game. 
When you have play action, hard play action, and a run game with Sting, and an accurate quarterback like that, that can throw the ball into tight windows, that is almost impossible to stop. And when you have a, a guy who's emotional and he can manage those emotions, still energize your team, that's the best of both worlds. He's emotional, and he's also honest. Uh, he had this to say this week. Chug it off and company to get in the locker. A bit of a low snap. He'll throw it on the run, and he'll complete. Little trickeration and a pitch. And that ball, let's see. Oklahoma says they've got it. And they do. Another turnover. This with four seconds left. I mean, I credit West Virginia for trying things. But when they do, they're making it worse. Cornell Motley, I think, recovered that. Yeah, they tried the hook and lateral, and it laterals it to Jennings. He was going to throw it on the sideline. You saw Crawford it was on the sideline. That was going to be a double lateral. So here's the first lateral to Jennings. You see Crawford over there to 25 on the sideline. And I mean, I the hook and lateral. It's on the way. And it is good. Austin Seibert, a new career long. The most accurate field goal kicker in the Big 12. Hits from 51. Hard to imagine this first half going any better for Baker Mayfield and Oklahoma. 45 to 10. The Sooners lead West Virginia. We'll hear from Coach Lincoln Riley with Todd in a moment. Started his career at Florida and resurrected it here under Dana Holgerson. And what do you got next? There's Chuganov down the middle of the field. It's a jump ball, and it's knocked away. David Sills was the intended target. Other programs would have been coming. They would have been beating down his door. On third and ten, Mayfield fires and completes. Grant Calcaterra, his first catch, and there's a first down for 15 yards. I asked Lincoln Riley about it when we were here a month ago, and he felt as comfortable with him as anybody he's ever had in checking plays. Mayfield off the play fake throwing, and again, it's Lamb. They love C.D. Lamb, a true freshman. He's got four catches for 92 yards so far here today. On the ground, a sermon stand on his feet, the first down, and then some. Guys here, White bringing him down. First down and 10. Abdul Adams has checked in for the first time. And Mayfield to throw. Finds his man in a seam. It's Calcaterra for the touchdown. Grant Calcaterra. Third touchdown of the season for the true freshman. And man, the Sooners move up and down the field at ease. It's because all elements of this offense fit together, Steve. The run game fits with the pass game. You're going to see hard play action away, and that affects the linebackers. And you insert Andrews and Calcaterra. Calcaterra is basically a tight end, but you have not seen him punt here today. Eight possessions, seven touchdowns, one field goal. And this is how Oklahoma opens possession number nine with a Trey Sermon run for first down yardage. I got to be honest, I'm a little surprised that Baker Mayfield's still on the field, although Kyler Murray now coming on the field, and I think they just wanted to give him an ovation coming off. And how about that from Lincoln Riley? You start the game with the tough love, the discipline that Baker Mayfield needed, and you end the game with the respect and giving him that curtain call the last time he's in front of this home crowd. It's well done by Lincoln Riley. It's a guy who's paying attention and uh, detail-oriented as well. Here's Trey Sermon. Wow, takes a big yeah, shot. Good. And they've been playing football around these parts since 1895. That's a long time and a lot of players. Quick screen out to Trey Sermon from Kyler Murray. Reese Donahue. I think you're right, Todd. I mean, there, there's unquestionably no better unit. I look at Auburn defensively. They're, this, this offense explosive. Miles tees down the sideline. Did he get there? He did. Touchdown. The players changed. The results are the same. Sooner score again. Kyler Murray to Miles tees. Uh, 
don't think that this mop-up duty for Kyler Murray doesn't mean something. He came to Oklahoma much like Baker Mayfield came to Oklahoma after going one place and not working out. He knows this is the last game for Baker Mayfield. This is his show next year, and he wants to stay claim to this Oklahoma, the keys of this Oklahoma offense and, and the whole conference, you had to guess. Uh, this is fascinating. Here's Chuganov throwing for one of his many talented receivers like Karan White. Uh, there's actually one, one 1,000 yard receiver in the SEC. All right, Adnan, thank you. Following Oklahoma's first punt of the game. Kennedy McCoy is the ball carrier for West Virginia, and he's going the wrong way, and flags fly. Jordan Thomas came up to make the fine defensive play. And so he transferred. He wanted to live out his dream, went to El Camino College, and he recruited him to come back to play wide receiver, and he's had an unbelievable season for Dana Holgerson. Out of that great white family that has just supplied West Virginia with talent for years. Chug it off, throw an end zone, tipped and knocked away. Sills and Jennings were in the neighborhood. You think just to mix it up, you throw it once out of the Wildcat. Here's Chug it off, throwing, and it is knocked away. Karan White had it in his hands and could not hang on. And that true freshman that has beaten out Jordan Thomas that Todd McShay was talking about, Trey Brown, makes the play. Great play here by Trey Brown. First of all, not to get pass interference called. It's very difficult to come from behind. And he waits till the last minute. Karan White had his hands on the football. And they teach you then to play through the hands to the ball. Saw number two go down in Miami yesterday. And number one, Alabama today. Here's first and goal. Gonna throw for it back in the end zone. No. Trevon Wesco caught it, but he was clearly out of the back of the end zone. Second and goal. We've seen two nice plays from true freshman Trey Brown. This time he reacts. Got full with the fake. And number six here, he's coming back. Don't ever give up on the play. If he doesn't come back and push the tight end out of the end zone, that would have been a touchdown by the score with six minutes left. Kyler Murray started the game at quarterback, and he will finish it. Abdul Adams is the ball carrier down the sideline. And we'll see if they get a bit of a face mask there. And so Baker would be up for it for a third time, having yet to win it. Maybe this is his year. Might be his year, might be the Sooners' year. And first down of the clock will continue. Could Oklahoma go from four to one? Absolutely. I, I've had Oklahoma at the top. Here's Murray with speed. This should be number one. I mean, they have they have done everything they could do, and they've done it in impressive fashion. And uh, I don't think there's any question. 59-31 will be your final score. Fourth-ranked Oklahoma makes a case to be the number one team in the country. And with all of the upset and turmoil that we've seen, you know, higher ranked teams that fall to lower uh, opponents and distractions and all kinds of things, everything was set up here this week for Oklahoma to be distracted. With a team coming in with a, with a backup quarterback, and they did not allow it to creep into their psyche. They handled their leader in Baker Mayfield the right way. Lincoln Riley led the right way. Kyler Murray stepped in and played excellent when they needed him. And this defense got better. And now this is as impressive a performance as you could have had this week, given all the circumstances. That was one of the interesting things coming in. How long before Baker Mayfield would enter the game? It turned out being just two offensive snaps. That's all he missed because Oklahoma had a 70-yard touchdown drive to start the game. And then he was in, and then he was out when the game was out of doubt. Baker Mayfield, a brilliant performance today. Only put the ball in the air 17 times, completing 14 passes. He hit on his first eight, good for 281 yards, three touchdowns, and did not throw an interception. And the respect and the handshakes for Baker Mayfield that he was not able to receive at the start of the game for the coin flip by not being one of the captains for today's game. And maybe one of the most impressive things he did today was not throwing the football or running it, but the way that he changed his behavior his actions his leadership in a game that was chippy that is normally what the kind of game that he likes to be in likes to talk and likes to be 
animated. He was reserved. He led, and it was impressive. Speaking of the man, here he is with our Todd McShay. Baker, you, you went through so much this week, obviously. How good was it to just get on the field? Oh, unbelievable. Uh, you know, it, it's one thing, you know, to be on the out. Okay. You know, I had the support of all these fans here and all my teammates and coaches. I mean, unbelievable. And, and they got me through the week. And then getting out here, like you said, it, it, just, it just helped. It was chippy early on, a lot of pushing and shoving. You were kind of in a different role of getting everyone to be the peacekeeper, if you will. You think this is part of maybe kind of learning and learning from mistakes? Uh, it is, but also we knew exactly what was going to happen playing West Virginia. It's always chippy with them. I mean, you, you look at the past couple of years, there's been stuff before the game during warm-ups. Uh, we knew that. It's just the fact that uh, we had one case where we didn't, you know, keep our cool and, and be the, the better person. But, yeah, for, for me, it's about learning and growing. And, uh, you know, I'm a 22-year-old kid, and, and if I learn along the way and people get to watch me grow, I'm, I'm fine with that. And moving forward, now you get the Big 12 championship. First time in years you go play in that game. Uh, what are your thoughts on playing TCU again? Ah, it's a great challenge. You know, obviously Coach Patterson always has them ready to go. And always playing somebody twice is hard. And, you know, it being that, you know, that close to together, uh, it'll be a good challenge for us, but uh, that's, that's what we wanted. Thanks, man. Good luck. Thank you. Oklahoma could not clinch anything today, but they certainly are much closer to that coveted college football playoff spot and a Heisman Trophy for Baker Mayfield. It's all seniors on senior night. Oklahoma beats West Virginia to the tune of 59-31. That's it for Norman. Back to the studio in Adnan.